Isa na naman Pinoy ang atin may pagmamalaki. Siya ang kauna-unahang nanalo sa cable reality show na The Apprentice Asia. At makakasama natin sa mismo ngayong umaga ang Filipino Apprentice Asia winner, Jonathan Yabot. Good morning, Jonathan, and congratulations. Salamat. Good morning po. Congrats, uh, Jonathan. Pero mm -hmm. hindi lang yan. Kasama din ni Jonathan ang kanyang mga kakompetisyon sa The Apprentice Asia. Dito din sila sa bansa para samahan si Jonathan na mapanood ang final episode at magdiwang sa kanyang tagumpay. Kabilang kanyang runner-up na si Andrea from Singapore. Hi, good morning. Sam Wells, or Sam from India. Hi, good morning. From, th from Thailand naman, we have Dusa D. Kamusta? Oh. Buti. <laughs> and from Malaysia, we have Nick and Nazriel. Yeah, hello. Selamat pagi. Hi. Hello, selamat pagi. <laughs> and finally, we have Selena, the other Filipino contestant. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Welcome to News To Go. Thank, Thank you, you for you. having us here. So what was it like uh, joining The Apprentice Asia? This is the first um, edition of yes, The Apprentice the in, 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 in Asia, Asia yeah. right? Oh, yes. But this is a franchise from a U.S. reality yes, show. Yes, it's the same. That, that Donald that Trump first hosted, right? Yes. I mean, and he made those words famous, you're fired or you're hired. Yes, yes. Right. So, so you, were you really uh, big fans of The Apprentice when, when it was still in the U.S.? Yes, all of us yes, were. all of us are. Right yeah. from season one with Bill Ransick, the Bill Ransick. So, what was it like joining uh, The Apprentice? Was it lo a lot of stress and, you know? I think it was a dream come true for a lot of <laughs> us, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Jonathan. Jonathan. Uh, for me, I've always been a fan since I was in college. Mm -hmm. So, sabi ko, bago ko mamatay, kailangan akong sumali ng The Apprentice. <laughs> and, you know, when I got into the show, talon ako ng talon, I called my brother and said, My Apprentice Asia! My Apprentice Asia! And, I joined it and here I am, finding uh -huh. myself being the first Apprentice Asia. Sam, how did you feel yeah, joining fact, the Apprentice? Uh, for me, it was almost a 10-year wait. I actually applied for the Donald Trump Apprentice. And oh, they really? Said, uh, In the United States? In yes. the United States. Okay. And they said, you're not eligible because you have to be a U.S. citizen. And 10 years later, when Apprentice comes to Asia, uh, I apply and, you know, the rest is history. So it was a 10-year wait for me. <laughs> so do you all have common backgrounds in terms of occupation? Uh, do they no. look for common backgrounds? I mean, it's no. kind of, uh, you're going to work with an executive. So there's, you're like, are, are you also junior executives where you are in your countries? No? I, I think as part of the show, they had to look for a variety, actually. So you've got <clears throat> Jonathan, who's in marketing. Um, I'm a litigator. Mm. Lawyer. Yeah, exactly. And mm -hmm. then you've got... And you, and, well, you Auditor uh -huh. in Malaysia, yeah. and as well. yeah, I run my own business. Um, on Businessman, yeah. yes, I have Thailand. Control. And I'm CEO of a company called Mixit. It's a mobile company. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Selena, and I'm a food and beverage consultant. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. different, different. backgrounds. Yeah. 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 So 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 in the show, you guys were competitors. Yes. Yes. So did it talaga? Was it? May konting personality na pwede mangyari. Did, did you become enemies? <laughs> yeah, but I think we're good friends now. But in the show, obviously, you know, personalities will clash. Frenemies. 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 <laughs> so who was the most difficult to deal with? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, privately. Yeah, Andrea. Andrea? Was it Andrea? <laughs> okay, I'd like to place on record that that is not true. <laughs> so, but you were subjected, like a lot of other reality shows, to different challenges, but these are like, management challenges yes. yeah. I know one of the last challenge or was it the last challenge to organize a charity ball, a charity ball. Yeah. Uh, that was the you were task. also asked to sell fish in the mart yeah. we were asked to make a commercial for a an, an, uh, travel agency mm -mm. We, we were asked to trade stocks mm -hmm. for the first time in our lives. Yeah. And you did this as teams, right? Pitching as teams. Goods, pitching of oh. goods. As teams. And then, so, just like Survivor, because mm -hmm. Mark Burnett is the creator of mm -hmm. The Apprentice, mm -hmm. we're into two teams, and then if you lose, one of you gets fired. The winning team gets immunity. And then, uh -huh. week by week, someone gets eliminated until only one person comes out as uh -oh. The Apprentice. Pero, pero, like in Survivor, there are challenges, like yes, physical, physical and uh, physical challenges, challenges mostly. This one, mental this one, challenges uh, naman. So, you have to make money. Those would be the tasks that Jonathan was just talking about. So, like in marketing, in sales, mm -hmm. all of that. Those, mm -hmm. are, those would be our challenges. So, you had to sell fish as well. I mean, that's not the usual, like, management task. Yeah. You know? How did you, where did this, uh, where did the, these challenges occur? Was it, which country? Uh, mostly in Malaysia and Singapore and uh, for us the selling fish task is basically they want to see how we work as a team yeah. for the first mm -hmm. time ever and you know uh, it's basic thing making profit 
So mm -hmm. it has to be like a very simple and basic challenge. But wouldn't that be an advantage for you to sell fish in Malaysia since you're Malaysian and uh, you'd be able to well, negotiate well, better? Well, yeah. <laughs> no, we, we thought so. Actually, we thought we were going to have uh, an extra advantage, but mm. we were not allowed to talk um, in local language. Oh, oh, it was in English. Oh, you had to talk in yes, English. In English until it's impossible for them to understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's done in Malaysia and Singapore, and as my friends watch the show, and then they bump into me there afterwards, they say, why didn't you call us to get us to buy your <laughs> bikes? <laughs> call me. I'll buy your bikes. But there was, it was not... Uh, allowed. Not allowed, okay. Yeah. yeah, they built in rules to make sure that yes. you didn't get... What are some of the most unforgettable experiences that you had in, in the show? Getting fired. <laughs> Getting fired! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that's one of them, but for me, it's just like, um, to me, all of these people um, mm -hmm. I say before I used to work alone because I run my own business but now it's time to work with all mm -hmm. of these people who are really topped off in, in their own country mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it's very um, great experience for me how about you Selena um, of course the most amazing experience is meeting great people I think what came out of it was really an internal change that happened in all of us I think a spark was ignited in all of us a passion mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. a desire to be better than just um, drifting through life now we have um, more meaning I think we have a reason to do things uh, with much more should I say gusto with more um, you know mm -hmm. passion and we mm -hmm. were really inspired I think um, we all moved each other and we all were able to touch each other's lives in many ways and I think that was the most memorable how much thing. time did you all spend with each other 24 hours. <laughs> yeah most of the time I think. And, and then how long was the season about, about two days. months Two months. Mm -hmm. the, the filming so you had to months. like set aside everything in your lives yeah. to do this. I mean, including our yeah. phones. Nick, for phones. example, Nick no, quit her job and delayed her wedding. But you, oh, really? So all of you need a to be. Are all of you single? No. No. So you <laughs> had to. You couldn't see any of your. Oh, she was gonna get married, and yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get married in ten days. Oh, okay. I sort of postponed it to be on the show. <laughs> it's once in a lifetime opportunity, right? So. So you were already planning your wedding when you found out that you were accepted to be a competitor? Um, yeah, pretty much because when I got engaged, we planned it to be in May and when I got selected, it's like we need to postpone it for me to get into the show. Okay, well, I, I, I hope mm -hmm. your your fiancé understood <laughs> your Oh, <reason>. yeah. <laughs> I'm thankful to have him to understand this bit, you know. <laughs> okay, Jonathan, kung laude graduate ka pala sa UP Diliman sa yep. kursong BS Economics and you're also senior product manager yeah. of a, an international pharmaceutical company, right? Yep. Nakatulong ba ito para manalo ka uh, sa The Apprentice? Definitely. Maraming mga taga-UP na palaban. Mm -hmm. So every time I go to the boardroom, you know, whatever, you know, if someone barks, mm -hmm. I bite at them. Ah, <laughs> and I think being from a pharmaceutical company, we've always been taught the value of leadership, value mm -hmm. of influencing people, and that helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. And the prize is you get to work with Tony Fernandez? The prize Fernandez? is a 100,000 US dollar contract for one year, and you mm -hmm. get to work for Mr. Tony Fernandez. And in this case, the contract I signed for him beginning August 15 is mm -hmm. for Air Asia as chief of staff. And just for the information viewers, Tony Fernandez was the host, the host of the show, the and he's CEO also the CEO of, of Air Asia. Ano Filipino trait ang sa tingin mo uh, nagpapanalo sa iyo? Um, Madiskarte. Madiskarte. Madiskarte uh -huh. ang Pinoy. Mm -hmm. Kung walang solusyon, merong hahanapin solusyon para dyan. So, how was it like uh, being with John, you know, competing with Jonathan? Was he, you know, uh, super duper competitive? Was he a dirty player? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what's so interesting is actually mm -hmm. Miss uh, Tony himself commented mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Jonathan and I are very similar in many ways, mm -hmm. even though we have different strengths. Because we're both ultra competitive, we're both quite outspoken, mm -hmm. we're both a little bit argumentative and opinionated. <laughs> a little you know? bit, and you we're agree? both very creative and strategic. So it was an absolute. It was so funny because Jonathan and I were on the same team for the majority of the series, and then mm -hmm. suddenly we get to the end together, and it's like now we fight. <laughs> so it was, it was. I, I mean, I had to adjust to it, you know, but um, no, no better person to lose to, really. Oh, good. Yeah. Very sportsmanlike. So, w what's next for you guys? You, um, you, well, you're getting Start married. Getting, getting married. married <laughs> and um, I got a job with uh, one of the CEOs coming in to interview the top four. Oh, yeah, really? So, so, it created opportunities mm -hmm. for you. Yeah, thankfully. And um, I'm, I've been working for them for a week now, so... That's the plan for now, mm -hmm. um, and we'll see how it goes after that. Yeah. Right. And you're, are you guys, you're recognized on the street in Malaysia now? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, somewhat, which is, which is quite cool. Oh, you're a celebrity now. 
Uh, <laughs> Maybe change of uh, career. Yeah, even yeah. before matches. I did some of those stuff on yeah. TV. And, <laughs> and they asked me, why, why do you do this? I waited, I'm thinking of waiting for the celebrity version, but I don't think it'll come. <laughs> so I might just do this now. <laughs> you know? So for now, um, I'm, I'm, I'm focusing, we just started a uh, training company called Explosive Minds Asia. We've got four trainers and we, we want to do a lot more training um, for, for people. Yeah. So that's for me. Uh, for me, I still have my restaurant and I was, um, I'm creating my own clothing line for like curvy Asian women, you know, because as you can see, I'm big and taller than anyone else. <laughs> so I, it is so difficult for us, like a little bit bigger Asian women to find clothes. We have to go to retail store, like the big expensive Western store. So I'm thinking that this is the time to create something. Are you, you, gonna, are you going to hunt. incorporate this experience in your yeah. branding? Like, oh, you know. Of course, because all the experience will come out, you know, like your style comes from inside. And I, I want to share that with people who's, mm -hmm. you know, about who who watching us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I got a role to be uh, the chief operating officer of a technology company called Mixit. Mm -hmm. uh, and this actually works in a space uh, of feature phones. So in India, 550 million people uh, who are in the tier 2, tier 3 and slightly underprivileged people mm -hmm. now can experience the power of a feature phone uh, that converts via Mixit into a smartphone. So mm -hmm. they can do mobile banking, uh, they can do a WhatsApp kind of a mm -hmm. feature among feature phones, no normal phones, you know. So I'm really excited about the opportunity in India. Uh, 550 million people op opened up uh, via this Mixit platform. So I'm really... And were many people watching the show in India? Oh, there are tons of people. I mean, it's like 32 million... Uh, <laughs> uh, wow, you have a lot of fans. So that yeah. should also help your company as well. Uh, ironically, uh, apart from India, uh, my second biggest largest fan was Philippines actually. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And Selena? Yes. Um, I had quite a unique uh, offer during uh -huh. the last uh, task when I was fired during the show. Uh -huh. um, I got offered a job from AirAsia, which was the company that fired me, <laughs> and <laughs> only yeah. to get rehired uh, in front of a hundred people. So it's quite hard. We're negotiating. We'll find out what, what happens. You, what do you expect it to do there? Um, I think it will be in commercial development or probably marketing. Um, I've never done marketing, but through the show I found uh, that my talents So they fired in you in the re reality show, but they hired you in real in life. In real life. <laughs> Maybe that's better. <laughs> we'll see. It's under negotiation, but it is an amazing um, opportunity. And I think it was quite a compliment um, from uh, the company. So I take it very positively. And you, Andrea, you represented girl power and you were young, <laughs> one of the youngest. What's next for yeah, you? Um, I, I don't know actually. I feel that there's a lot of opportunity ahead. Um, I'm turning 25 soon. So wow, I think I've still got young. a lot of time. Mm -hmm. You know, um, obviously the plan was to get the job, but now that Jonathan's got it, and <laughs> I'm taking some time to think about my options, travel a little bit, you know, come back to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Lots of things to do. Oh, Jonathan, what's your message to the Philippines? You know, gusto rin magtagumpay, hindi lamang sa mga ganyang mm. reality show, pero sa negosyo at, at sa, makamit yung kanilang pangarap. Well, una-una, may, may Apprentice Asia Season 2. Mm -mm. Next year, lalabas na yan. Um, I'm expecting the Filipino to win it again. <laughs> <laughs> so watch out. <laughs> and I think sana, um, you know, the entire Apprentice Asia experience for all the contestants serve as an inspiration to all the youth out there. I always say, you can never be too small to dream big. Mm -hmm. And I hope it inspires people na you can be at your best, just dream big, and the enemy of the ambitious is just time. So there. Okay, well said. All of you, all of you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. At maraming salamat, Jonathan Yabot, ang kakunamunahang winner sa The Apprentice Asia. Maraming salamat din kina Andrea, Sam, D, Nick, Nazril, and Selena. Thank you. Thank Congratulations, you. Thank guys. You so much. Thank you.